RLC circuits are fundamental building blocks in the world of electronics. They are found in a wide range of devices from simple radios to complex communication systems. RLC stands for resistor, inductor, and capacitor. These three passive components, when connected in various configurations, create circuits that can filter, tune, and manipulate electrical signals in fascinating ways. Imagine a world without the ability to select a specific radio station or filter unwanted noise from an audio signal. RLC circuits make these tasks possible. They are the unsung heroes of the electronics world, silently working behind the scenes to ensure that our devices function as intended. Understanding how RLC circuits work opens a window into the inner workings of countless electronic devices. It allows us to appreciate the elegance and ingenuity behind their operation. In this exploration of RLC circuits, we will delve into the characteristics of each component and how they interact with each other in both series and parallel configurations. We will also uncover the fascinating phenomenon of resonance and its crucial role in various applications. Resistors are the simplest of the three components. They resist the flow of electrical current, much like a narrow pipe restricts the flow of water. This resistance is measured in ohms. The higher the resistance, the more the resistor opposes the flow of current. Resistors are essential in circuits to limit current, divide voltage, and control the overall behavior of the circuit. They are like the brakes in a car, providing control and stability to the electrical flow. Without resistors, circuits would be unpredictable and potentially destructive. Resistors ensure that the right amount of current flows through different parts of a circuit, preventing damage and ensuring proper operation. In essence, resistors are the steady and reliable workhorses of the electronics world, always there to keep things in check. Inductors, often coiled in appearance, store energy in a magnetic field when current flows through them. Imagine them as electrical inertia, resisting changes in current flow. This resistance to change is measured in Henry's. A higher inductance value indicates a stronger opposition to changes in current. Inductors act like electrical flywheels, smoothing out sudden spikes and dips in current. They are commonly found in devices that deal with fluctuating currents, such as power supplies and audio equipment. In these applications, inductors act as filters, removing unwanted noise and ripples from the electrical signal. Inductors play a crucial role in shaping the behavior of alternating current circuits, which are the backbone of our power grids and many electronic devices. Capacitors are like electrical reservoirs, storing energy in an electric field. They consist of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material. When a voltage is applied across the plates, an electric field builds up, storing energy. Capacitance, measured in farads, determines how much charge a capacitor can store at a given voltage. Capacitors excel at handling transient signals, quickly charging and discharging to accommodate sudden changes in voltage. They are commonly used in timing circuits, filters, and energy storage applications. Think of capacitors as electrical shock absorbers, smoothing out voltage fluctuations and ensuring a steady supply of power. Their ability to store and release energy rapidly makes them essential components in various electronic devices from smartphones to electric vehicles.